Hello everybody, today I'm going to be playing some Wargroove, and Wargroove is like, I was told it was like an Advanced Wars and Fire Emblem hybrid. I don't find that to be exactly true, this game is more like Advanced Wars than anything else. Um, but nonetheless, I've been really enjoying myself with this, even though I don't tend to prefer Advanced Wars to Fire Emblem, those two get compared a lot. I think they're even from the same developer, Intelligent Systems, in fact I'm pretty sure they are. But I definitely like the whole RPG customization aspect of Fire Emblem a bit more, since in Advance Wars and this game, you're sort of just controlling a bunch of generics, and it's more about the pure strategy. But yeah, this is like an indie successor to a lot of the early Advance Wars games that I've been really enjoying. Um, I've, I heard a lot of good things about it, so I got it on Steam. I've played it for a couple days now. And I thought, you know, why not record it if that's what I happen to be playing right now. And I think I... Hold on, did I click the wrong thing? Oh no, these are my custom maps, okay. Yeah, I remember I got two of these. But I think I'll just do some of the main campaign that I have left. So I'm on... Apparently I'm in Act 3. So, I don't know how far that is into the game. I mean, I feel like I've played quite a few quote-unquote chapters. Um, but yeah, this is just Advance Wars with a high fantasy sort of feel. In fact, the I haven't been following the plot too closely because I don't generally tend to pay attention to that even in traditional Fire Emblem games. But it seems to be like standard almost Fire Emblem fare where, you know, there's a blue-haired... Um, member of royalty that gets kicked out of her kingdom and now she has to well i don't i don't actually remember what what we're doing in the story right now but we're eventually going to come back to our kingdom i think we actually play as a queen i'm pretty sure she's a queen now she starts off as a princess my queen barrier the, between the world of the dead and the living okay so we're gonna fight some uh well we're already fighting like skeleton zombie things from the beginning of the game so i don't know what this entails oh that's right okay so this is <laughs> the first mission of the game like the tutorial is basically like you killing this guy not you as this character necessarily it's another character but that was kind of tight Okay, so they're attempting to talk to him. I'm sorry. Thank you. So you actually sort of start the game from the opposition's perspective. I thought that was really cool. This is necromantic magic and the what? jaw of the undead. I have a spell. Okay, so I'm guessing... Oh, that's going to be annoying if I have to protect this guy. Because usually your commanders are your strongest fighters. And especially when you start off with no way to heal your units or bring new ones. Uh, I found that fighting with your commander is actually the most efficient thing since they regenerate. And normal units do not. Yeah, this guy. This was the king that got lit up in the first chapter. Listen. It isn't safe. Felheim, that's the name of the, the kingdom that took us over. The undead are approaching. Okay, so these are different than just the, the skeletons, because usually the Felheim hordes are just like like, they're literally skeletons, but this seems to be kind of different. Okay, so I have to travel to these checkpoints. What do we got here? Okay, no, they do look similar, but they're just... They just have a different color scheme. And actually, that doesn't even matter in the first place, since... Um, all of the generic units are the same across the armies, they just have like a reskin basically. 
I found that out pretty early on. Okay, so this guy's not in range. Oh, the good thing is I have Alchemist, so I can heal myself. Eh, I don't have to fight them right now, do I? Yeah, I don't have to. Probably get around to killing at least the one from the south. These guys are pretty slow, so I don't have to really pay attention to them now. How far? Can, okay, so that guy can't reach me. Hell yeah, I'm just the type of this guy. Gone. And just like in Advance Wars, the weaker a unit gets. Uh, the less output they'll put out. So unlike in Fire Emblem, usually, uh, well, some Fire Emblem games are player phase oriented, like Fates, for example. But especially in Advance Wars, you really want to just get the jump on your opponent and not let them attack you first. Hell yeah, bro. Let me, take, let, me, let me take this man's life for a second. This should do the trick. I just hope that the reinforcements aren't... Um, there's not as much. Because... The enemy doesn't have barracks. That's what you usually need to make new dudes. But sometimes in the story maps, they'll just be reinforcements anyway. This guy's kind of strong, but... Mm, do I want to... Oh, hell yeah, okay. Oh, that's right. So some units have weaknesses, and I haven't memorize them all but that must be one of them like for example if i had a cavalry like a knight they would be weak to these guys oh what wait wait, wait. hold on what happened oh, so does it have to do with the terrain i mean critical when the fence is oh oh i see okay so it's it's not a type weakness it's this dude's ability the only ability I've really memorized thus far is that when the little spearmen are next to each other, they get a critical hit. Okay, this guy's not a problem, and if I ever do want to take care of him, I think he's in minus defense terrain, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So I can take care of this guy, but then I'll have to have some way of dealing with this guy behind him. Because the Spearmen are actually like really strong, like I said. They would be like the equivalents of like Armor Knights in, in Fire Emblem. I wonder if I use the alchemist to weaken uh, this unit I wonder if I'll die to the spearmen because as long as I don't die I can just heal up with my other alchemist and that'll be great I know if I attack with this other dude I'll definitely die to the spearmen but then again these guys are not yeah they're not that strong either um, Oh, okay, it tells you. Shit, okay, see, I'm still learning. I only, I've only had this game for like two days. So they do 70%. Okay, so I, I shouldn't die then. Yeah, okay, good. And I have plus one defense. Oh, well, what am I thinking, actually? I'm gonna have to take this dude on anyway. He'll bring me down to... He'll bring me down to like 20%, but that's fine. It actually might have been a better move to leave this guy alone, but since with only one dude in the squad, he's not going to be able to do that much damage, but whatever. I can just heal up. I was going to have to heal up anyway. Okay, nice. Goes for the Alchemist. Ah, fuck. 
Cowboy did no damage. Yo, that outlaw's that outlaw is kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Putting myself in range of the swordsman is not a big deal. These guys are the weakest units in the game, so that's not a big deal. Shit, if I could get behind this guy, that would be that would have been better, actually. I guess I'll just have to retreat even though it's not very efficient. And do that. Lightning blast! Yeah, just barely lived. I do enjoy like the the risk reward factor of using your commander in battle because if you lose the commander it's a game over but at the same time it's pretty smart to fight with them because they do regenerate they're pretty self-sustaining but you don't want to like overextend basically wait am i in range okay i'm not nice Okay, I don't know what this Spearman is doing. This, <laughs> I have not had to worry about him in like at all. And this guy can't move far either. Man, you know what? I'll be putting myself in range of the Spearman, but that's honestly fine. The outlaws are pretty strong, but they're also frail. You just gotta get in their faces and that's it. So yeah, fuck it, I'll do this. This should do the trick. The spearman will do like 20% to me, I think. And that's not a big deal. Man, get your fucking neck snapped. And I think I'll just heal again, to be honest. Oh, I could I could have healed this direction for like the two percent, but <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Okay, that that that, that did a decent chunk. I think. That's uh, yeah, that's twenty percent. Okay, finally this guy moves. God damn. Hmm, can I get around? Yeah, I can. So I can attack with the alchemist first. Call me Edward Edward Elric out here, and then attack with the swordsman next. I don't. There, this can't be all of the enemies. This was way too easy. Like, I understand I'm probably at the beginning of the game, but I feel like even compared to the other missions earlier, there's, there's just gotta be more. Wait a minute, did I even confirm that this was a kill? Okay, I did. Oh, and also the reason he's glowing is because each commander has like, um, I forget what they call it, but basically a special ability unique to them and this guy puts up like a barrier that increases your defense like terrain uh, which is nice and okay i can go here i'm definitely gonna save that too and yeah i can just one shot this guy fuck it on my face Now that I think about it, I probably didn't even play all that efficiently. I definitely took my time there. I'll just heal again. Get my boys to full HP. Well, almost. Amorith. Alright, 
it. So I gotta get my boy to this spot over here. Yeah, okay, this map probably goes on for a, a good while. Damn, this isn't actually the most exciting map. Usually things are a lot more hectic when it's a, I guess, a more traditional map with barracks and towns and where you actually have like an economy going in and shit like that, that resource management. So yeah, I really hope there's not that much more to do uh, in this particular map. Finally, I felt I felt like that took forever just to get here. I am I am instantly disinterested in this ep in this exposition. Merciful. Good lord! You must listen. Ugh. Okay, but we got interrupted by the goons. Spooky skeletons, am I right? This outlaw is kind of annoying, but oh, is this another? Oh, this is an alchemist. Okay, that's clean. That's annoying that they pop up from the back. That is disrespectful. Oh shit, these are flyers are nasty in this game. Holy hell. Um, yeah, so that's why we got alchemists because they're the only ones who can attack um, flyers. Not even our commander here. Can attack them because he's on foot actually who knows because he's like a different he's a um, uses magic so can he attack them if it's not stated as effective I don't actually think he can oh shit it used up his turn okay so I don't even get to god damn okay but this guy can't attack me so that's fine that's uh that's what we call good design you know you know what I'm saying I want to keep a couple dudes like waiting for this dude to come out. Flyer is gonna be annoying. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, that's shit. That, that's a little bit too much damage. I'm not comfortable with that. Oh, I don't even get hit if I go here. A little, little bit of damage, and then I can go over here. How much does my soldier do? 54%? Man, that actually works. I'm gonna do that. Actually, hold on, hold on. I may as well use this alchemist first because he's already injured and I can heal later. Yeah, I want to go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, easy kill. Then I just go over here and uh, bop the alchemist. This should do the trick. I should get my alchemist a little bit closer because I feel like the flyer is going to make a beeline diagonally here. Uh, they have good movement. Five movement's pretty good in war group, so I think I'll be okay.
Yeah, and luckily it doesn't look like their terrain movement is very great. Not the flyers, but I mean the outlaw, because otherwise he would be a nasty problem to deal with. Man, get your fucking soul snatched. And I don't even care about Emmerich really getting attacked, because once again, he heals on his own. Oh shit, what? <laughs> I thought he killed. I could have sworn it said 100%. That shit lied to me. Okay, so he can heal from... Shit, it has to be like right next to him? Really, bro? Because I wanted to... Oh, I can't stand here. Well, I could, but uh, I don't want to risk my my swordsman getting bodied because I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're very effective. Hell no. I feel like that's a waste of a heal, but right now, because um, I want to get him health healthy enough to take on this guy over here. I'm just wondering if I if he attacks from here can my other alchemist make it I would say yes so I'm gonna place the other alchemist here they got five move it can't be that bad that's gonna hurt god damn and yep can't even counterattack. that's not gonna do anything I have a spell I could use my Elder Barrier or Shield, whatever it's called, pretty soon. Because I actually don't want to go over there and attack the Outlaw anymore because I think both of the, these dudes attack. Ugh, I can't speak today. Actually, no, if I go here. Never mind, I positioned myself immaculately. Look at this. I get the bonus damage from the terrain, and the other two um, mooks can't even reach me. Nice. Oh no, he can, but that's not actually a big deal, because I can heal. The boy can heal. Plus, I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of the level anyway, because pretty clearly the intention was that we would have to conserve our gold and how many times we can heal, but I haven't even used the Elder Shield or whatever yet, so I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Can I reach the mountain? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they're gonna get attacked. But that's not a big deal. These guys are weak. Damn, that bonus damage is kind of strong. Them boys ain't playing. That might have been a waste, but I actually do want to get some big damage on the, the Spearmen so that they don't fuck me up. Oh god, that'd be so good if I can make it to... Oh, if I could have made it to, like, this terrain tile, that would have been awesome. I think it's time for the shield, boys. This should protect us. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Yes. Oh, that's right. That actually synergizes really well. I didn't think about that. Because I got I got the bonus damage too, on top of taking just less damage overall. That's super good. That's actually kind of busted. That's that's a combo. Holy shit. Cause remember the abilities are unique to each character. So like another sometimes you'll be controlling a different main character. And they won't have that ability. Like, one of them actually heals instead, which is kind of okay, but I like this way better. Oh, okay, I don't do that much damage to him. I should probably conserve my gold at this point, especially... Oh, I don't know about this, boys. I don't know about this. Fuck it, I'm gonna get a little bit greedy on them. Hold up. <laughs> Hmm. 
this guy can attack me. But man, you know what? Am I gonna get greedy on them? Yeah, I'm gonna get a little greedy on them. <laughs> Nice, nice. Okay, I took a little bit of damage, but that that that, that doesn't matter. We can take it. That's actually kind of bad. Shit, is he, does he kill us? Almost. I may have made a mistake. I have lost a unit. And a pretty important one, especially if um, if this isn't the last wave of enemies, which I suspect it isn't. I think, like, if this isn't the last wave, I'm just going to make a beeline for the next one with um, Emmerich. Because the goal isn't even to beat all the enemies or anything like that. I still got this dude, though, so that's fine. Can the swordsman kill him? Oh, not even. Psych. This should do the trick. How much gold do I have left? I got two heals left. I'm not even worried. You must listen. And yeah, nothing has really pushed um, Emmerich that hard yet. He hasn't really been in danger, but I don't want to expose him too much because, of course, the more damage he takes, the, the weaker he becomes. Like, he starts out super strong, but the more damage he takes, it gets a little bit, a little bit risky. Leave this boy here. Okay, I got my Gambit too. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to end the turn, and I think what I might do is, uh, I want to be cautious because I only have three units left. What I'm thinking is I can just lay the shield down here in case we get ambushed again. Alright, more exposition. Well, we, he, he didn't even get a chance to talk last time. The Great Dissonance. It was a monstrous, bloody struggle. Yada yada, ancient war, long time ago. It was like classic Fire Emblem shit. Oh, the Fell Gauntlet. Okay, yeah, because the, the Felheim leader has this fucking Thanos Super Gauntlet. They did mention that already. Oh, but he's saying that's not it. Okay, yeah, we got more, we got more motherfuckers out here. Damn, there's so many of them. Man, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not even gonna fuck with any of these dudes. I'm just gonna run. The boy's gonna run. Yeah, this guy's not gonna. That's the last checkpoint. I don't, I don't have to take my time fighting any of these people. They gotta go. That outlaw is gonna be a problem though. I hope I can save my units. Oh shit, there's a flyer too. I legit can. I, if I if that thing attacks, um, well, it's not gonna kill my alchemist, but if I, I have to protect it, cause that's my only way of fighting that thing. Yeah, I can't stick around and fight. That's that's a no go. Okay, can't attack that square. Getting attacked by just the swordsman and the the flyers, that's okay. Anything else, not okay. Yeah, I feel like this is fine. I don't want okay, that's that's whatever. I don't fucking care about that thing anymore. <laughs> Oh god damn, they wrecked it. I thought they were I've never had that thing actually be attacked though. That's why it seemed kinda weird. 
If that thing finishes off the... Oh, okay. It just goes for my... That's really weird. Yeah, I don't even have to really pay attention to that thing anymore because it's going to be doing so little damage. Shit, that, that outlaw really scares me, bro. There's an alchemist too and shit. Fuck me. I'm at 39%, okay. Oh shit, no, I, I meant to go around him so that I can get my... Oh, I fucked up. No. I need to get through. <laughs> That's still fine, though. As long as I can get this unit through, I am A-OK. -okay. That's fine. That's whatever. Just... I didn't care about this motherfucker anyway. That's not gonna do any damage. As long as I'm not blocked or anything. Like, the commanders can take a lot of hits. I'm really not concerned if I take a couple hits from, like. Yeah, especially when I can just bonk this thing. I'm super fine. If I don't weaken the outlaw, that can cause issues, but that's about it. Uh, how much this... Okay, it doesn't tell me how much damage I'll take by... Oh, and I can't even... I can't attack it to make sure. So, yeah, rip. I'll place him here, I guess. Okay, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. If the soldier suicides on, um, on Emmerich, then I think I'm fine. Oh, sweet. He even just gets out of my way completely. I'm okay with that. Especially if I get my, my ability or my gambits or whatever soon. Awesome. Okay, I even killed in return. I'm telling you, the commanders are so powerful. I didn't have to worry about any of that. Although my ranking is going to suffer now because because I lost so many units. Okay, I'm not even going to go after him. Fuck that. There's no way. Yeah, nothing can block me at this point. So we're good. Super clean. Especially because this guy. Damn, I really lost all my units, bro. <laughs> And took like 20 turns. I'm about to get like a C ranking or some shit. At least I hope that that's my only objective. I didn't even check that. I just assumed that was the case. Yeah, okay. Uh, yes. Requiem's creators. So wait, what is it? It's not... He sought to destroy it, but its power... He hasn't specified what exactly it is. Dragon's Cradle, okay. Amorick! <laughs> Ah, shit, okay, the line is... This boy is cutting out. Oh, that he loves her, of course. The daughter. Okay, that was the end of the chapter. Nice. My queen. That was long, goddamn. What are we going to do about it? Alright, so that's our objective, I guess. 
Heaven Song. Okay, that's what we were originally. I was confused about that. I didn't remember what I exactly. Agree. I know we evacuated because we had no chance of fighting the the leader of Felheim or whatever. Yeah. And that we were basically like, um, not in exile, but we were taking refuge. But I knew we had like another objective. Um, and that was it. Yeah, I, I know I wasn't gonna get like an A or S ranking on on that. You can now play as Emmerich in the arcade. I really like the the arcade actually. Um, I feel like with these kinds of missions in the story, I'm still only getting like a taste of what War Group is all about. Whereas in the arcade, there's like full fledged battles. I feel like because this took so long though that I might end it here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll save an exit. I haven't played the arcade um, in a while. I only played with uh, Mercia because she was she was the only character I had available at the, at the time. Excuse me. I'm not going to go through the entire thing because it's five battles in a row. Um, to give you an idea, what we just went through was one battle. It was long, yeah, but we're not going to get through another five. It's late. I need to go to sleep. Maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll go through one or two. Oh, this dog is hilarious. I'm using him. I played on normal the first time, but we ain't no bitch. We go hard mode. I didn't realize I'd have to fly the dog to get this one. Oh, and also the dog has the best ability. So the dog is basically like a dancer. Well, sometimes, not all the time. But when he gets the glowing aura, he can basically dance for like multiple units. Kind of like Raphael in Fire Emblem 10. Yeah, so this is more traditional um, war group gameplay where you start out with a barracks. Oh shit, I'm actually at a I'm actually at a disadvantage here. This guy starts out with two, and I think he has more villages too. Wait, hold on, no, he doesn't. But yeah, you basically you capture villages for gold every turn, and then you use that gold to recruit new, new units and shit like that. Uh, battle pups cannot take villages, only infantry can. Oh, I thought my. I think my audio is cutting out a little bit. Sorry about that. Yeah, rangers are super good. Oh, shit, this guy. This guy's not playing. He's about to attack our barracks. That is not cool. Um. Wait, hold on. I don't have access to a wagon. Usually wagons are super good because they enable you to... They have like 12 movement. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, if I had a wagon, I could get this guy on it and travel all the way up here and get all of the villages before the opposition. Because really, it's about the real estate in the beginning. If you can get more money... Um, then your opponent faster, then you'll be able to summon. Well, not summon, goddammit. What am I? <laughs> I'm not playing Fire Emblem Heroes here. I can recruit more powerful units faster. I guess I'll just leave that to this guy and pull back my, um, my doggo, Caesar. <laughs> Caesar. You'll see why he's hilarious in a minute, though. Actually, I don't want to. I don't want to recruit that yet. That's a bit hasty. We're on defense, so these guys are cheap and powerful. We'll do that. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh hell no! This dude's on a charge. Jesus, this guy is no chill. I could just try and jump him right now and um get myself a. I think Caesar plus a knight could take him out. But I don't know if that would be such a good idea. Especially with the outlaw here. That kind of... ooh. Okay, I'm actually not in his range if I just step forward and attack this infantry unit. But I'm cutting it kind of close. If I... You know what? I can summon more pikemen or spearmen, whatever they're called. 
and try and get critical hits if he gets closer and he starts getting a little bit aggressive. I actually like that idea a lot. Does he have anybody? Okay, no, he doesn't have anybody going up here. So as long as I can, if I can hold the fort here while my swordsman is off conquering villages, I should go to that side. God damn it, I really wish I had a wagon at this point. That would have made this so lit. That's the first thing I would have gotten and just had my swordsman zooming around on his turf, taking over his villages and taking away all his resources. Fuck, that sucks that I don't have access to that. Okay, yeah, he's backing off. He knows that he's not gonna, that this is not gonna be in his favor. I may as well go for the ones on my side first, because I'll be able to get them in two turns. That'll be nice. That would be really nice indeed. And I actually, mm, how far can this guy reach? He reaches pretty far. But as long as he can't hit my barracks, I don't see any reason to be aggressive here. Yeah, like that's nice, but... Hmm. Okay, he's not effective. So that means I can... I can go for this and keep him engaged. Maybe that'll even cause his uh, swordsman to pull back and allow me to gain more territory. Pull this guy forward. Yeah, hell yeah, I get another one of these guys. And now that his archer is crippled, he can't really effectively tag uh, Caesar the commander I really want to show off how he fights because I think it's absolutely hilarious and oh shit okay he might actually kill me here oh never mind okay that's that that's a ballista that's not a trebuchet or there's two types I there's two types of, of artillery and one of them would have fucked me up here yeah okay so now he's actually got two of these dudes going out and scouting but time is also money and I'm getting them faster even though I have one swordsman even next turn he'll only be able to get one village and this guy's really too weak to attack uh, the one I just conquered oh shit Hold you know what hold up damn that does 51% that's a lot of damage okay but what is this? Oh shit, okay, he summoned a golem. Hold, uh, he, he needs to calm down. Once I get rid of this thing, I'm gonna summon one of my own. Fuck it. Is the uh, catapult effective against... Okay, it is. And it's 2 to 5. So if I summon it here, 1, 2... Three, four, five. I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna do that instead. That sounds a lot better. This is the only target that my spearman can attack, so I may as well do it and use my outlaws to attack the other units. Man, are they sure this is hard mode? This is a little bit too easy. I like how the dogs on other sides, um, on, on, on ugh, I can't talk. That's how you know I've been talking too long. I like how the dogs on either side, instead of like disappearing in battle when they're defeated, they just run away. <laughs> I guess the creator of the game didn't want to kill any dogs here. 
Okay, as long as I'm out of range, I'm kind of comfortable extending a little bit just to get in the terrain. Especially, yeah, because if he kills my... My, uh unit of spearmen he'll be in range of my ballista at least i'm pretty sure he should be and that's not gonna do any damage and yeah so this dog is hilarious he doesn't actually fight <laughs> he just has two crossbowmen two strong as crossbowmen apparently do all the fighting for him and oh that's not gonna fly oh hell no i need the knight over there asap oh what i don't reach Two to five, what? One, okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I didn't even get it right. That's embarrassing, bro. Well, nevertheless, I can still, you know. Damn, he, he absolutely owns them, too. And it's effective, effective against just about everything. I may as well just get rid of this guy first. You know, having that dancer skill right about now will be really nice. I could get rid of the dog too. But I feel like Chip for the golem is a little bit better. Because the trebuchet... I don't know how to pronounce this. Trebuchet might not kill it in one shot in fact let me check if it does oh no it does that was useless i actually don't take any damage from this but then i'll be in attack range of nothing actually good Should I capture this? Nah. Money comes first. I'll capture that next turn. That's another barracks. Actually, no, that might have been useful. So I could summon another knight and keep them from attacking my headquarters. This guy's not going to do too much damage. And I think this guy has six movements. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if he attacks from. Well, it'll take him another turn, actually. So that might not be the best. Okay, nice. I'll take some damage here, but I can always fall back and self-heal. So that's not a big issue. Man, you little weak ass. I did nothing. I think he actually dies here from the, uh, the counterattack. Yeah. But I can I can't be taking any more of those. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna stop. And for that reason, I'm actually going to take this barracks first, so that I can make it. Uh, so I can use it to get some backup there, or else I'm actually gonna fucking lose. Oh damn! He doesn't even one shot. You little weak ass. Why? Oh shit, I was reading the wrong shit. So it says that it's vulnerable to giants, not the other way around. I'm an idiot. Okay, first of all, how much do I do to this? I, I do enough, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll attack the giant. I guess that's the priority right here. Actually, I can go ahead and... Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, 
yeah, I think I'll just move up, try and get them to attack my Spearman instead of anything else. Man, let me get this big old golem out here. Okay, yeah, they're trying to attack the villages now instead. Which... Damn, that actually hurt. What the hell? Oh, shit, that's gonna hurt, too. Almost killed, too. Okay, nice. So at least we directed fire away from anything else with the, the trebuchet. Damn, they have another one of those things? That's... That is not cool. That's a little bit worrying. And instead of really... Um, Instead of trying to defend that village for now, I can just capture another one and keep making more money. And now I can summon from here too. Okay, I only have a, a hundred. I guess I'll summon... A ranger down here and down here I think an alchemist would be good because none of these guys are really getting healing because they're not near any of the villages so I think that would be appropriate oh shit okay if I I actually don't want to be in range of oh I can't even move there anyway so what I might do and what I might do instead is attack with Caesar and then use this opportunity to get my Ballista closer. Or not my Ballista, it's... I forget they're different. And now I can actually attack. Yeah, I'll just do that. This guy's pretty expendable anyway. At this point, I can afford to be a little bit reckless just because um, I am very much up on resources. Move this guy here because he's closer to the barracks. If they decide to try and get the jump on him, I can do that. But I think they might just go, uh, excuse me, go for the village anyway. Yeah, okay, that, that, <laughs> that shit's gonna be gone. God, and unfortunately, I just don't have much to combat the uh, the golems. Like, it's kind of rough because the trebuchet, unlike the ballista, is not effective against them. Okay, yeah, they're just gonna try and go for the village. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to break it. I hope not. Okay, good. Because as long as I can keep them from taking it, that's a okay. In fact, I really want to just go and start taking all of these villages from them. Oh, never mind. I didn't even realize how much damage that did. In fact, I can dance. Oh, shit. That's so good. Because you can see the aura. I can move my golem up here, waste this guy, and then dance again. And get... Get some fucking damage on these dudes. That's what I like to see. Yeah, because at that at that point, this will be in range of this guy, and with five movement, can I get to the one, two, three, four, five? Yes, I can. Let's go. Yes, yes. Man, catch this fucking rock horse.
The leader will be able to attack me, yes, but... I can at least just retreat. Yeah, I can definitely just... I have a thousand gold to spare, so I can always heal next turn. If I really wanted to flex a little bit, I could attack the leader instead, get some big damage. But then my golem would be gone next turn, so I actually don't want to do that. Okay, I actually, I'll just, yeah, I'll do this. I don't want to get too many expensive uh, units right now because I want to leave some gold for healing. That's definitely what we're doing out here. You have three. Oh, wow, okay, so they only have a... Uh... So I'll actually move the outlaw, or the archer, whatever you want to call it, down south and have my swordsman go across since he's the weakest unit combat-wise. Uh, do I even need to summon anything here? I actually don't think so. There is absolutely no threat up here. Yeah, move your bitch ass on. Get the fuck out of here, boy. This ain't an overextension. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this golem putting in mad work. And the craziest thing is that I have more than enough funds to just make another one ASAP. I think this is over, boys. As long as I don't overextend needlessly with uh, the good boy over here, then it's just... I don't think there's a chance at this point. Yeah, I can just leave this out of range of the commander and that's it. That's a GG if I ever... Because I can just start attacking the barracks and they haven't even gone gotten to this one yet. And in fact, I'm going to cut them off now from getting it as well. Get another golem out here. Just, just for some overkill. Why not? can't even really damage this effectively so and once again I don't even need to really recruit everything or anything over here I actually really want to do that. Can I KO this on my own? I can't. But he'll be doing so little damage, it won't even matter. On the other hand, I'm tired of this dude. <laughs> I'm tired of this man recruiting more units. You can get the fuck out of here with that. And at that point, like if this guy keeps fleeing north, I can just go straight for the base and win that way. just stay here with my knight all right about 1400 gold that sounds pretty decent it's pretty decent indeed golem over here i think i'll summon i keep i keep saying summon i'm i'm so sorry guys <laughs> i'm out here playing Yu-Gi-Oh when i'm actually playing wargroove yeah just get another knight just in case i need some backup dealing with this guy and yeah why not I 
I'm really curious what he's gonna do. Okay, he's just running away. Yo, I'm actually gonna capture this dude's barracks and end his entire life. <laughs> I think he's fucked. I mean, I, I've, I've already been saying that, but now it's definitely over. Like, yeah, I don't see how he comes back from this. He could still, like, capture this barracks over here, but then he, at that point, he would just be cornering himself. So I think I will just uh, go ahead and cut him off before he can take it and wait until my swordsman can take him instead. Yeah, now it's just a matter of time. In fact, I really do want to just like lure him down here a little bit, uh, make it so that he can go for my for my giant over here, because I just got another one, so it doesn't even matter. I'm really curious where he'll go. Oh, he doesn't even go over there. He just tries to get another village. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. He, boy, it was too big to go in. Oh, but I can just go ham on his, uh, on his little base over here. Heal up a little bit. Wait, can I not move this thing any further? That's some garbage, but I can actually just attack from here. Get rid of even more of his funds for whatever it matters. Yeah, son. I should have just done this earlier and ended this fucking thing. I didn't realize the golems did so much damage. I mean, I knew they did damage, but... I figured that these would be a little bit sturdier than the average village, but I, I guess not. Oh yeah, I just ended it this turn. Because my Caesar is already in range too. We can just end it. Oh, not quite, but if not that, then... Okay, so I actually won't be able to finish it this turn, but... I mean, at this point, it's not really salvageable. There's nothing he can do. I'll just take the I'll just take the barracks from him for just extra savagery. We're not trying to have any of this nonsense over here. Uh yeah, sure. Whatever. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Doesn't even want to fight anymore. Got his neck snapped. And that's the win condition. That actually took so long though. <laughs> okay, you know what? I will see you guys next time. Maybe I'll be continuing this campaign. Maybe not. Uh, but I feel like I've been recording for over an hour now. Probably. I will see you all next time.